everyone, Steve Sievers here for Bionic Buzz. We're here at Long Beach Comic Expo. We're talking to some cosplayers, independent comic book creators, finding what their passion is all about. Let's go. You can call me Kylo Pool. Now, what are your passions in life? Uh, finishing up this guy. Yeah. Yeah. Turn it around so you can see. <laughs> Hi, R2. <laughs> Well, what do you recommend if someone wanted to get into building their own art together? Read everything online. Uh, let's say if you join the uh, astromech.net or R2D2's Builders Club, everything's there. All you gotta do is join, it's free, and you pretty much just read up on everything that's on there if you can. And what are your passions in life? Uh, a lot of car uh, cartoon, I uh, love the Marvel comics, DC comics, I'm a big X-Men fan. Uh, cartoon, I'm a child of the 80s, so I was a big Dungeons and Dragons, and uh, I wish we had uh, X-Men when I was growing up, but it wasn't until like the 90s or 2000s. Yeah. <laughs> so G.I. Joe, yeah, the, I think, was my thing. The 90s X-Men was so good. Yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> yes. So, uh, if someone wanted to pursue, like, make their own comic, like, what, what would you recommend? Yeah. Uh, I would say you got to get up and do it. Yeah. You know, you got to get up and do it. Uh, it's it's one thing to dream, yeah. but you got to put in the work. You know, yeah. it's tough to, uh, or excuse me, it's easy to sit back and dream about it, but <laughs> it's a lot harder to put your work out yeah. and actually do it. You know, so um, just I'd say you have a lot of passion and conviction, and really uh, apply those dreams and really bring your vision to life because no one else can but you. All right, man. What is your passions in life, man? Oh, my passion in life is uh, comics. Comics, Star Wars comics, uh, old Marvel comics, uh, what do you call it, uh, DC comics. That's going to conventions since I was in junior high, so I go to conventions. And uh, old cartoons, Robotech, Speed Racer, and whatnot. Yeah, so you're always at the Robotech booth, man. Uh, what do you recommend if someone wants to get into like going to conventions and stuff, but that's your passion in life? Well, if you, your first time convention is you're gonna find what you like. It's uh, from a young kid to an adult. Yeah. You're an adult, you already know what you have in, in mind, what you're looking for. You're either looking for Star Wars or you're looking for, uh, what do you call it, uh, a Marvel or anything like that, you know. If you're more deep into it, then you're into uh, the writers, the artists, whatever yeah. you, you like. Um, but if you're laid back, you know, you already seen all the stuff, then you go to, you know, the fan tables, the other tables, Artist Alley, and, and look at what people are doing differently than what the industry is doing so you, you're like all right i'm tired of this i'll go over to here and see what, what's going on with that you know and support your local artists in, in, in such a way uh what is your passion in life my passion in life is filmmaking uh that's actually what i do i work as a cinematographer uh but i found that doing a shot breakdown from a uh script is pretty much the same as doing a cell breakdown for a comic book so i do kind of think of all of my comic books as being uh, storyboards for hopefully future productions that someday I can fund. Although it is nice that a page rate costs me the same to have dialogue and people talking as it does having a car exploding. And that's uh, it's kind of the appeal to working in the comic universe for me. All right, so say someone, their passion is maybe filmmaking or comic books, what advice would you give them to like pursue that passion? Just go out and do it. I, I had no idea what I was doing. I'm kind of learning as I go. Uh, getting some idea now that I'm five years into it, but at the beginning I had no clue so uh, You learn by doing and that's the best way to do it So, you know figure out what you like doing and figure out how to make money at it And what are your passions in life? My passions are creating uh, stories both visually and through text uh, using the imagination to the nth degree and uh, creating lovable characters now, what do you recommend if someone wanted to get pursue that as their own passion in life? You know? um, what I suggest for anybody who's writing mm -hmm. is to write something every day, and on top of that, read, 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 because there's a lot of people that think they can write, but they're not doing grammatically correct, or they're not using vocabulary, and uh, so obviously create the vocabulary and, and figure out how to paint pictures with your mind. And what, are, what is your passion in life? My passions in life, I'd say cosplay is definitely one of them. I like creating things. I like being able to take something that's just an idea and make it a physical creation that you put your hands on, see, and experience. Um, I like to paint a lot. I do a lot of uh, commission paintings. Uh, I think it's awesome to be able to express yourself. And I pretty much try to challenge myself to do anything that I don't know how to do, for the most part. Learn new things every day. 
Yeah, what were you recommend to someone who wanted to break into the passion of cosplay and be an artist? Something I'd recommend if somebody's looking to start in cosplay and they really haven't done it before, um, kind of what I did was research everything online. It's really helpful. There's a ton of great tools. The community community is very helpful. Um, I know I've, I've reached out to people that I admire and their costumes, and I've gotten really positive responses. So there's a lot of cool stuff on YouTube. Um, try, try to learn new things, and then above all, don't don't go around thinking you're the best because there's always something that you can learn. Um, you can get really skilled, but there's always going to be something you can learn, and just going around with too big of a head can definitely limit your growth. So that's something I'd recommend. So here at Bonic Buzz, we talk to people about their passions in life to hope inspire others to pursue their passions in life. What is your passion in life? Uh, let's see. My passion is uh, collecting exotic bullfrogs. <laughs> I think that's my passion, and you know. That's why I do this, you know, I sell comic books. It's really a big Ponzi scheme to make enough money to sell bullfrogs and corner the bullfrog market. That's my, that's my, uh, so tell my passion. So Man vs. Rock. Man vs. Rock is this crazy comedy by this insane geologist named Buck Stone who thinks that rocks are going to kill us all. <laughs> so this crazy guy, it's only a matter of time before the rocks strike back. And he goes this hilarious crusade to save humanity from the dumbest threat ever. It's a lot of fun. His name Indie Book of the Year by Bleeding Cool and Comic Bastards last year. Doesn't take itself seriously. Just something to laugh at with your friends. So if anyone else has like passion to do their own comic book, what would you recommend? Um, just uh, take out a bunch of debt, mortgage your house, and you know just uh, run from creditors when you can. But seriously, what you should do is you should um, you should just go for it. Sometimes you know it's not like comics are pretty cool and that they're not they're not that many barriers like. There are so many people out here exhibiting their work. Like, if you want to just do it, you can do it. All right, man. So what, what is your passion in life? My passion in life is making mistakes and learning from them so that you always look back and you go, I can do stuff better now than I did before. Okay. Uh, I think uh, once, you, once you stop learning, yeah. That's when you have to kind of open your eyes and look out for what's next. Uh, I think that's a, uh, that's a really important part of the work that's always done uh, because in a way, I, I think, you know, you always want to do the best job you can, but at the same time, the journey is as important as the destination. Mm -hmm. What would you recommend if someone's passion is animation inspired by Robotech want to get into it? Like, what would you recommend to them? Uh, being well-rounded uh, because the industry is um, uh, it's it moves very fast in terms that it changes very fast uh, and what business model works now will suddenly change within a decade from now and so being well-rounded prepares you better uh, having a technical background is extremely important that way uh, you know, you'll you'll have that flexibility uh, when the technology changes to adapt. Yeah. What's the latest in Robotech? Uh, we're really excited that uh, Sony Pictures has picked up uh, Robotech for the live action film, and having the producers of 300, uh, Mark Canton and Gianni Nonari, uh, and uh, Michael Gordon, uh, who wrote the the story, and also having uh, James Wan the director of the most recent Fast and Furious film, Furious 7. I mean, it's just, can't beat a team like that working on this.